Hi, I'm Rob May, MD of Ramsac, and welcome to CyberChat. I want to talk to you today about porn stars. Uh, no, not like that. Um, when I did my TED talk, I walked out onto the stage and behind me I had this great big sign saying we're all porn stars. And uh, interestingly enough, a whole load of people have said, oh, you know, you called your TED talk, we're all porn stars, whereas I didn't. The TED talk was called uh, The Human Firewall. But interestingly, it's the porn star thing that people have, have remembered. But why did I do that? The reason I did it was on social media, uh, you often get uh, games. You, you get little quizzes that usually say just for fun. And, and one of the uh, ones that I'd seen was about your porn star name. And what it inferred was that every single one of us has a porn star name. And to find out your porn star name, you take the name of your first pet followed by the first part of the road that you lived on when you're growing up. And for me, that worked out as Smoky Pound, which I guess works. Um, and the thing is, the results are funny. And if you, watch, uh, if you watch my TED Talk, you'll see that there's a great deal of laughter in the audience. And actually, uh, for one minute, I thought I'd lost the audience and I wasn't going to get them back. Um, but the thing is, people... People participate because it's funny. There was one during the general election to find out what your Tory MP name was. And again, it was a mix of, of things like, like this. Um, and on that one, there'd been 4,000 responses when I saw it. And they always say just for fun, but the thing is they're not fun, they're sinister. People use this to gather information. It's a form of social engineering. And people use it to gather information on you. And what I've asked you to share there with your porn star name is information that you might use for your password retrieval for things like your online banking. So when you see these, and you'll see them more and more now, once they've been brought to your attention, you see them all the time. I'm constantly being emailed them where people have seen me talking and then say, oh, here's another one. Um, what you need to do is firstly not participate yourself, but also point them out to your family and friends to make sure that they're not participating and, and they're not falling uh, foul of the scam. So I hope that's been useful and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you.